And the key to, key to every guy that talks about escalation, when they talk about escalation, one of the biggest things that they don't realize is that a part of escalation is your body language. If your body language is weak and you're trying to escalate, it's going to come across improper and incorrect. She's going to run away. Yo, just finished the training session with the morning client. Guy smashed it. You got a number from a very beautiful Latino chick. And now with the master, what's happening? the what's one happening? and what's only. Happening? What's happening? What's happening? These guys went out. I was just saying uh, earlier this morning when you guys were asleep that you guys were there until late, weren't you? Yeah, we were out yesterday. We were out. We went to like two different clubs. It was a lot. Of, it was a lot of loud noise. It was a difficult environment. Oh. I did, I did three demonstrations. Did two closes. Um, got one of the students to do a close as well, which I didn't think he'd be able to do. Um, found it very difficult to communicate, and talk, but you know we're going through it. But it was good. He was like he he, he struggled a couple of times, but we got we're going through it. Um, it wasn't that what he was saying was incorrect. It was his body language was sort of like lacking a little bit. When he approached, it was just it was a bit weak. Yeah, uh, he looked strong. Oh yeah, I was just saying to the client today actually, body language is so key when it comes to approaching. Because believe it or not, when you do the approach, women are actually looking at your body language, which is the non-verbals, rather than the words. Because a lot of guys put too much emphasis on the words, but it's actually the body language that they're paying attention to. And this is proven by research, you know. 90% is body language, something yeah. like that. The key to, key to every guy that talks about escalation, when they talk about escalation, one of the biggest things that they don't yeah. realize is that part of escalation is your body language. If your body language is weak and you're trying to escalate, it's going to come across improper and incorrect. She's gonna run away. She's not gonna be enjoying it. She's not gonna have fun. She's gonna feel like it's a bit creepy. If your body language is set, escalation is so easy because it starts off from the initial approach. Escalation starts from the beginning of the conversation. You don't just start. You don't just state it differently. You don't transition to escalation. Escalation is from the beginning. Yeah. Escalation is a part of your entire approach, from the actual approach itself, the body language that you set, the way you relax in to the yeah. conversation and also to how you develop the conversation with verbal as well as your, your the body language itself. You put all those two together, then all of a sudden you realize you're escalating. Yeah, that's, so that, that was the mistake he did last night. He was not doing it, he looked weak. So I pulled him out, yeah. we had like a two minute break, I asked him to go back in, I told him to work on his body language, he came yeah. in, a bit more forward, a bit more, a bit more of the body language. The woman sort of took a step back a little bit, yeah. but enjoyed it. And then they exchanged numbers and yeah. they messaged this morning and he got a reply back. No way. And he's happy about it. You got the number, message her, and she yeah, reply back. 100%. And he's like, and he did really, really well. He did really, really well with the message. Yeah. It was all good. So, in terms of body language, what would you say is important to make sure that it's, it's a direct body language? Isolation. You... It's about isolation. So, if, if you're talking to someone where, where you realize you're, you're, you're a guy today, one, yeah. one mistake he does when he speaks, he speaks shoulder. Shoulder. He got taught that in acting school that it's more easier to less come across as less intimidating. Yeah. But I was like, in, when it comes to speaking towards women, you want to be more intimidating. You want to you want to show that you're able to be in control of the situation. Yeah. When you isolate, you only allow the woman to focus on you and not focus on the people around you. Now, now and again, when you notice that if you speak to a woman from side facing, she's going to be able to look away. Yeah. The moment she looks away is the moment that she's disengaged. Oh, when right. you isolate, she's unable to look away. To look away because she's got you in front of her. Yeah. So she's going to focus more so on after, you. After how many minutes would you recommend to isolate? I, I'd isolate within sort of the first 15 seconds, 20 seconds. You do what the you approach mean? when it does. When you make the approach. And she responds back, and it's good response. And then I oh, usually like this guy over here. Yeah, yeah. Then I isolate. Oh, by isolate, you don't mean to take her somewhere else. Oh no, no, no. Isolate means right isolate there. to the situation. Oh, yeah. Okay. As like in what shoulder they call it, um, to shoulder. Uh, As in face, sorry, face to face. Face to face. Yeah. yeah. So, so right face now, face, face, face shoulder to shoulder, and then we go boom. Yeah. It's more kiss close. No, I'm joking. <laughs> kiss close. <laughs> That's for another video, guys. Then you whisper, That's, then you whisper in the That's for the OnlyFans uh, yes. video. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all about oh, it's important to do that. Yeah, yeah.